This is the story of the king of the hydroplanes, who also used the racing hydros to promote his products worldwide. It's the fifth Gold Cup for Ole Bardal, and this victory locks up a sixth national championship for the checkerboard comet. For the tough Norwegian from Ballard, the power behind the Green Dragon racing team, Ole Bardal, five Gold Cups and six national point championships, all in ten record-shattering years of racing unlimited hydroplanes. Ole Bardal remembers the humble beginnings when he left Norway for Seattle back in 1922. Well, that was in, uh, in, uh, in Seattle. Yeah. I had $32 left or $70 I had my, when I started off. In 1939, Bardal moved his business out of his house and into a small Ballard building on the money he had saved. You and then, you didn't have to borrow any capital? No. I have never borrowed any capital. Never? No, I've been financing myself. All these years? Yeah, I bet you. Today, Bardal products are sold in 75 nations because Ole gambled big with powerful advertising and promotional campaigns back in the early 50s. This story is true. New York advertising experts said Bardall would fail trying to take his little Ballard product national. They said Ole was crazy. Oh, yeah, that, I've been uh, called that many times. That, that uh, are you a nut or... <laughs> Yeah. Crazy and so on. Yeah. But I don't pay much attention to that. Well, I think that one of the best things that I ever done was uh, the hydroplane. Because not only for the sport, but also for our business. 